Hi, it's Alex here from Safety Monitors again. Um, we had a request on one of our subreddit safety feeds um, regarding calculation of STELs and TWAs and how they work with um, our instruments. So there's a really good technical note which I've got here which is really useful and um, we'll show you some more hopefully we'll do a bit of a zoom in on the video. It's technical note 117 from Ray Systems. They're obviously now part of Honeywell but the technical note library is fantastic and it is available on our safety monitors website on the legislation and guidance section. If you can't find it just get in contact with me. Um, so STEL is a rolling 15 minute average. For, so for those not familiar, a STEL is a short term exposure limit. So that's what, how we usually work in the UK is the EH40 limits or over in the States it's OSHA. So the rolling 15 minute average works on the basis of from minute one to minute 15, you'll have an average level. And then from minute what, two to minute 16, to minute three to minute 17, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a rolling average value. Now the TWA calculation works in a slightly different way. So this is a cumulative level that adds up as you go along. So the longer you're monitoring for, the higher your TWA level will be. So the way that works on most instruments, this is true for the Ray instruments and most other instruments, is for every minute of measurement you receive, that value is divided by 480, which is the amount of minutes in an eight hour day. And then that adds on to the total. So that will add on and go up and up and up. So for example, if your first minute average was um, 480, <laughs> that's easy maths, then the it will be one will be added. And then in your second minute, another 480, it'll add another one. So you will then get a cumulative level of two. And that will continue for the duration of the monitoring cycle. Now the important thing to know is that will continue beyond an eight hour day. So you can have this sort of value where the TWA actually exceeds your, high, your highest peak value depending on how long you've been running the instrument for. The other thing to bear in mind is the TWA assumes that the only gas exposure is well you have had the instrument switched on. So if you only switch the instrument on and monitor for two hours, the TWA value that's given is based on that two hours of monitoring and the calculation method of uh, the one minute average divided by 480. So hopefully that helps and gives you a bit more information. If you'd like any more detailed explanation, then feel free to get in contact with us. I'm more than happy to flesh out this video. This is just a very quick one and we are in the process of moving office at the moment. So it's all a bit sparse in our offices at the moment. But should you need any more support, feel free to give us a call on 01489 326031 or outside normal working hours 07951 854824 or you can visit our website www.safetymonitors.co.uk anytime you like and we're always here to support you as and when you need it.